Hey guys, it is Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Before we get into this latest Manchester United news regarding Jaden Sancho, terms agreed. Um, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, we are on X, smash the notification button, play this United News. And we're covering the Euros as well, so stay tuned for that. We've got a hopefully good show coming on th th this evening. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Jaden Sanders, Manchester United, terms agreed. I don't try and do click, but I don't, I, I always really try and post when I, I when it's from reliable sources. And so I always make a video when Fabrizio Mano um, and Yang Anfield are tweeting. And basically, Yang Anfield and Fabrizio Mano are saying that Manchester United have reached an agreement with Jaden Sancho's camp on personal terms until 2026. That's what. So 2020. So if you sign him in, so basically a five year deal, effectively, a five year deal. Um, Jaden is not creating any problems. So he wants to go. So we know that. Negotiations now start in Bristol Dortmund, 95 million price, no euro price, no agreement yet. And then Jan Jan Hon also said, um, Manchester United feels Sancho close as Jan Honor said. And I'll just quickly get this Jan Honor quote. He said, Manchester United and Sancho getting close. And I say both very, very reliable. Um, so the one thing I obviously say is that obviously Dortmund are not going to budge on this price. I'm not going to budge on this price at all. And that 95 um, euros comes to about 82 million um, pounds, pounds sterling. So essentially, what? You, well, I ask you, do you guys, do you think that Sanchez is worth 82 million? You know, you know, that's that's a question. Um, but fundamentally, Dortmund are not going to budge on this. They're not going to budge on this at all. And it is up to Manchester United to stump with the cash. Maybe they might be able to, I think what it's going to come down to is the add-ons. I think it's going to be, Right, okay, how do we negotiate the add-ons? So we maybe get the fee for, it could be maybe £70 million pounds sterling, but then you have £10 million worth of add-ons that are, are relatively easy to accomplish, you know, like plays a certain amount of games, qualifies for the Champions League, scores, etc. I think that is probably what it's going to come down to because United are going to negotiate this to, to, till, well... It's either going to end in two ways. Either one, we are going to negotiate it down to whatever and do add-ons, or we're just going to end up paying it, and we're going to end up paying it sometime either before the Euro start, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get some deal agreement in principle before the Euro start, or we um, we, we wait till the end of, 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 of the Euros, which is also feasible, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts? You know, like I said, there's never been an issue with Jaden Sancho agreeing in terms of Manchester United, no, no matter what people have said. I think the issue has always been the fee. And it looks like negotiations are going on. Will the Glazers start with the cash? I would say so. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice day and cheers.